there we are. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look into this camera so that I can take some kind of a shot oh. at the beginning. There we okay. go. <laughs> so that I can put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Hi, everyone. Thank you for bearing with us while we yeah. did our thumbnail shot. I know. We just needed to do a thumbnail shot. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, you at Halo again? or do you, Are you I, okay? I think I'm okay. okay. I think it's all right. all right. The sun's mostly gone that way, I think. Yeah. So we decided <laughs> we're just going to pop on here early. We were going to do it around 2 o'clock, and we were both here. We're just chatting. We decided just to go ahead and go on early. And um, so we don't expect to have many people live with us, but we'll notify everybody when it's done so that you know you can click on and watch. But mm -hmm. we're glad to be back with you. Yes. This is Dances with Wool. This is so not a podcast, um, but we're back. And I'm Debbie, and I own the store here in Midlothian, Virginia called Dances with Wool. And my name is Erin, and I'm the store manager. So you can follow us on all the social medias as Dances with Wool RVA. You can also uh, shop us online. Our website has all of our classes and events on it. You can sign up for a weekly email newsletter that comes out on Mondays. It's already gone out for this week. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But you can go ahead and jump on the newsletter for next week because we have – Lots to talk about. It's our birthday week, and we'll yeah. talk about that more in a little bit. But we will link to everything in the description box, which is right down below the video, as soon as we are no longer live. So anything we talk about today that has a link, we will put it there for you to find. Yeah. And like Erin said, we've got a lot going on. So you want to be sure and yes. do that. If yeah. you don't get our email newsletters, you really want to get on because yeah. you and follow if you, us on socials. But the easiest way to keep track of everything is to get the newsletter. Yeah. And if you do get our newsletter, we want to go on and read it because yes. there's a lot in there about what's yes. coming up this week. Do Some not, really good stuff. Do not miss out. We that. are excited. Yeah. So. What we've been up to. What we've been <laughs> up to. What have we been up to, Let's Debbie? Let's just say that... Um, it's been a little busy this fall, oh huh? Oh, my gosh. Um, well, we just came off of a Marie Green weekend that yes. was so successful. And she is just lovely. I she just really can't. is. If, if she were here <laughs> and she were local, I, I swear um, we'd be best friends. I, she's just, <laughs> she's so easy to talk to. She's... She's your friend that you want to cross the table just to have a cup of coffee with and chat about just life. And she's just such a genuine, authentic, um, just the nicest, nicest person. But she she just lit up the room here. She just lit up the space. We've had such great, um, our customers have just been raving about mm -hmm. it. Um, and so we were so lucky to get her, so lucky to host her. Um, so honored to be able to host her because she doesn't visit yarn shops very oh, often. Much. No. So we are so excited that we got a chance to do that. And um, we just, we feel like we made a lifelong friend this weekend or this the, the weekend we had her. And yeah. so we've come off of that. I left a week later. Yes. And <laughs> to have adventures. I tell you, um, to go to Rhinebeck. Yes. And um, you and half the staff. <laughs> yeah, actually, poor hearing. We That's left her all alone right. It in was the fine. Shop. But um, yeah, a lot of the staff mm -hmm. went and we had a great time at Rhinebeck. It was rainy, but not so much that you couldn't enjoy Saturday and Sunday at Rhinebeck. As always, it's just so great to see all the sweaters, to see all the vendors, to just get a chance to shop. I didn't do much damage this time, so it was pretty good. Um I uh, went up with, like I said, staff members and friends from the shop, and we got up there Thursday. We went to Indie Untangled, which in spite of the rain was lovely. Um, just, you know, great vendors there, uh, and it was it was. It was great. And then we went over to Woolen Folk and that's where it all kind of fell off the rails. Yes. Um, I'm sure you've seen. And By read. now, I'm sure mm -hmm. you've probably. Yeah. And all I'm going to say about it is, yes, it was scary to be there. Yes, there was, they're right. There was no accessibility for, um, accessibility for anybody. For anybody. Really. Um, it was very, very scary. A lot of times just being in the buildings, um, you couldn't even get up to the booths to see what people had. And, you know, what I like to do at those events is not just shop, but just actually go and meet people. Mm -hmm. And 
network and get our name out there as a shop and talk to vendors. And, you know, there was none of that. You couldn't. I mean, most of those poor vendors were backs up against the wall because they couldn't move as well. Um, I only bought from one vendor there and I, I, you know, I stood in line to do that, but um, that, I just did the one and, but I couldn't do anything else. You couldn't really get up to see people. And there were some things I really wanted to see. They had vendors on the fifth floor. I went up to the fifth floor, obviously by another way that wasn't the main where they had the signs, but it was up to the fifth floor. Doors were locked. Oh, you know, it was, uh, it was awful. It was just, it was awful, but um, still, Saturday and Sunday was the highlight, you know, being able to go to at the fairgrounds, at the for, fairgrounds. The, for the sheep and wool festival. Yeah, itself. it was, it was great. So all I'm going to say, you know, I'm not going to rehash the woolen folk because you've seen, like I said, it was, it was really a shame. I felt yeah. terrible for those vendors, including the ones that were outside in a tent and not able to keep the rain at bay. And they lost a lot of their um, stash, their stock. Um, all I'm going to say is we are going to link at yes. the very bottom of our show notes today. Um, there is a link. Casapinka has actually um, put it out there. There's a few well people. As, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. As well as some others. A link, a full clickable link to all the vendors that were at Will and Folk that have, you know, um, clickable links mm-hmm. um, that will take you somewhere. Many of them are adding um, to their shops a lot of their stash that, you know, they had to leave with to come, you know, leave to come home. And keep in mind, this is a very expensive event for them to vend at. Mm-hmm. There are also costs involved with getting there and setting up. And, you know, people that are working with them, they're, you know, they're paying for help that weekend, many of them. So incredible losses by these vendors, which was very sad. So please, if, um, you know, if you feel so inclined, go and click on some of their links and uh, look and see what they put in their shops. And if you want some good yarn, <laughs> yes. check them out. Yeah, um, absolutely. And, Give and them, help show them, them some love. Yes. Yeah. So, um, and that's all we'll, we'll yeah. pretty much say about that. It was, it was, um, it was quite a weekend. I left on Monday after running back and uh, took a five hour train ride to go to Rochester and stay with my sister for a few days, which Season. was. Yeah, which was great. We had a um, we had a good time just laying back and catching up. And then one of those days, this is just where our community just never ceases to amaze me. One of my original um, customers here at the shop from day one, um, Christine Topol, mm-hmm. she moved up to where my sister lives um, in Rhinebeck or in Rochester. So I texted her, said, hey, I'm in town. Do you want to catch lunch? So my sister and I met her for lunch and we caught up. So got a chance to see a customer (laughs) who I hadn't seen in a while. And that was just probably, you know, outside of just being able to veg with my sister and um, getting a chance to catch up with her and spend some time with her. That was probably the highlight of the week. So, yeah, yeah just getting ready, getting to see an older customer, you know, uh, a customer from back in the day. So <laughs> it was just really nice. So we've got, like we said, at the top, we have a lot going on this week. Yes. Yes, we do. And this week is birthday, birthday week. So technically our the store's birthday was October 6th. 16th was our first day, yeah. You know, but we were in the middle of Marie and Rhinebeck and everything else. So we are celebrating this week, starting tomorrow. Well, technically kind of starting today and running through Sunday. So we have Which is a lot to yeah. change for us. Yes, yeah, so we've got a lot <laughs> going on. So what we have going on this week, uh, starting tomorrow, Tuesday through Sunday, we have all kinds of fun things in store for you. Um, we have a prize wheel that you'll get to spin at the register every time you make a purchase, or you could win a discount off your whole order or a notion or other goodie, lots of other things, but you'll spin the wheel every time you make a purchase and, uh, get a chance to win, uh, one of those lovely prizes with every $25 you spend, you will get an entry into Mm -hmm. a drawing that we're going to do at the end of the week for a special one of a kind Daisy said project bag. 
Um, if you pre-ordered the special seventh uh, birthday bag, the blue uh, wax canvas bag with our logo, the roll down with the leather handles, um, if you pre-ordered one, those will be ready for you um, to either pick up or we will put the ship ones, we'll ship those out. Tomorrow we will have a couple of extra four and that's four it. and that's not, it. No more pre-orders. Extra. Okay. That's it. That's it. So <laughs> if you didn't pre-order one, but you thinking now that you want one, I suggest being here on Tuesday or going right on the website as soon as those extras it, yeah. are loaded so that you can get that one. But for every $25 that you spend, like I said, you'll get a mm -hmm. um, entry into a drawing for a different, a different bag. And then we have something that sounds like it's really big, but when you think in the grand scheme of things and how much yarn you buy in a year, it's not big. Yes. You have a chance for one week only to buy a $500 gift card or tell your loved ones that you want this for Christmas, a $500 gift card to the shop. It's good at any time. You know our gift cards never expire. But in addition to the gift card, you're going to get a $15 coupon every single month if you purchase the gift card for one year for one year so you get 12 of these coupons $15 coupons to use toward a purchase of, of yarn, yarn. Mm -hmm. it, only yarn but um it's it's a way to um you know basically what do we figure it's 680 dollars right by the time you yeah by the time yeah. it's done it's 680 dollar value. value so basically could remember the math buy a 500 yeah. gift card get free yarn for mm -hmm. a year for a year every month for a year so if you, um, we can do what it's the, they said, you have to buy it online. It's online. Um, we can, we could do it at the register too, do it at the register. but it is on the website. And, um, so it's available for either in-store or online purchase. You purchase the gift card. Do tell us at checkout if it's a situation where you're buying or your loved one is buying the gift card for you um, as a holiday gift because you have two options. You can either start receiving your $15 off per month mm -hmm. um, coupons like right now in November, starting November 1st. So your first one will be November. And so it'll run November to, to November 2024 to October 2024. October. Mm -hmm. Or if you'd like us to wait and start sending you the coupons in January of 2024, and then it'll go January to mm -hmm. December. So you just tell us what you want us to do. But um, the coupons are good in store or online. Um, it is for, it's the usual restrictions with them. So we can't use them towards trunk shows or consignment yarn, you know, because it's not our stock. We can't, we can never discount those. But for anything else, um, you can put that $15 off and it's not off a minimum purchase. It's just $15 for you to use. But it is, mm -hmm. what we can't do is like, oh, well, I'm going to spend seven of it today and yeah. then I'll come back and spend the other. No, it's it's $15 it's, off in one transaction. We apply the coupon. We to apply one the price. coupon to one transaction. But yeah, yeah but so, it's, a, it's a chance, you know, we're going to, we, we think, you know, there are plenty of people, we know our customers out there yeah. who would really like to have something like this. So it is for one week only. And again, you can do it online. We've already set it up online to uh, purchase the $500 gift card. So if you want it for a Christmas gift, be sure to tell. Yes, your loved ones. That <laughs> that's what, what I, I want, want and go get it. And you can only, it's only good for a week. So do not tell them, don't you wait. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. have to go get it this week because it's not going to be good. The offer is not going to be good after that. Yeah, so, so yeah. that's so well, we're, we're excited. We're putting that up there for mm -hmm. our birthday too. Yeah, so I'm that's it's okay. So, so that's what we've got going on um, in store. Uh, we are also going to have two starting tomorrow through Friday. So Tuesday through Friday, we're going to have daily flash sales. There'll be a a special flash sale or flash offer each day, and so you can tune into our social media accounts to see what's going to be on offer each day. Definitely go and check that out. Um, we are also then on Saturday and Sunday going to host multiple dyers and yeah. makers for a fun indie extravaganza showcase. Yeah. So this weekend we have Murky Depths. Um, they are indie dyer. And we are also having Geek Tastic Fibers, who specializes in self striping yarns, which I'm learning because I'm starting to knit with these self striping <laughs> yarns for socks. It's very intensive and very difficult to do. Yes, so, the dye process yeah. is very, very, involves a lot of math and yeah. yeah so, mm -hmm. and that's fun. Not easy. No, it's not easy, but they're fun to knit with yes. because over a cup of coffee in the morning, I can get a stripe done and have a pair finished in a Before month. Before you know I am it. learning. Mm -hmm. um, so that they're, 
uh, they'll be here. We're also having Camp Stitchwood that is formerly known as Adnits. Mm -hmm. And she has just some lovely like tags and um, stickers and different things, different gear and accessories. Gear and accessories is what she, mm -hmm. yeah, she yeah. has. For fiber crafters. And then we're going to have, um, which is a shop favorite of ours, the Sheep and the Chicken, which she does hand, I mean, she's a beautiful little artist and she hand paints these cards um, or hand paints these pit, these paintings and then she has them put onto cards mm -hmm. so um she's got some for holidays which yes, will make new designs for the holidays yeah so check her out mm -hmm. she will be here saturday as well oh. and sunday yeah so it'll be saturday 11 to 5 our usual hours mm -hmm. and then sunday 1 to 4 p.m so we'll have special shopping hours yeah. on sunday we're not normally open on sundays but we hope you'll come out and see us and if you are not local, because, of course, these are all going to be trunk shows, essentially, um, we're not going to be able to put these items on our website, but we will have virtual shopping appointments available all weekend. So you just make your virtual shopping appointment on our website and we'll be happy to walk you around, show you everything, help you pick stuff out You go ahead and pay for it. And then we'll box it up and ship yeah. it right out to you. Yeah, and we, yeah. we do those very successfully. They're, yes, they're, <laughs> they're very successful. We do them on Zoom, you know, and yeah, we enjoy doing them. Yeah. So yeah, so that'll be that'll be so good. As you can see, we've got a lot coming up this week. It's yes, gonna be a full it's going to be fun. fun. Yeah. yeah, it's always fun to celebrate a birthday. And boy, have the years gone by fast. Um, seven years. Wow. I know. Seven. It's crazy. And to think where we were seven years ago starting in the other shop and I go back and I look at pictures every once in a while <laughs> and just thinking I had a this you know just all this yarn in this shop and just thinking oh my god look at all this yarn and I look at the pictures now and I think we had nothing <laughs> you had a much I mean, smaller space it was like Oh, there wasn't a whole it felt lot to, like more yarn. <laughs> it did. It did. It just makes you. It, it, it's good to look back and see how far you've come because sometimes it feels like you take really small steps mm -hmm. when you're growing a business. But when you look back and see, you know where where you have progressed from where you've progressed, um, it just it makes you realize, hey, you know, we we have come along. Yes. Yes. So we we're going to celebrate all that this yeah. next this week. So yeah. So. What are you wearing? Oh, you want to talk about me yeah, first? Yeah, let's okay. talk about you first. So I have a finished object. I made this in a week. Who am I even? This well, is this the... This is called stress knitting. Yes. This is, yeah. <laughs> well, and it's also called, you know, size 10 needles. You can finish yeah. anything in a week if you <laughs> use size 10 needles. So this is the Kuma Cowl by Laura Dobretz. This has been um, a favorite of the shop for a while. We've had kits for this. Um, but I've never made one. And so this is technically it's a modification. So I used um, one Emma's yarn, Hella Hank, mm -hmm. um, which is the large fingering weight, those 600 yard fingering weight skins. I didn't use all of it, but I used a Hella Hank and I held it together with the Ito Yarns Sensei, the new mohair silk base that we have in. You can see the halo there. And guys, this this is the this is the closest that to, you will ever get to Shibui to the silk late cloud. lamented Shibui um, silk cloud. So very very similar yarn, and so um, it's held together with both. I did some slight modifications. First of all, it's done in one color. So the other mm -hmm. kits and the way the patterns originally written is you use five mini skeins, and so it's different bands of color. Um, I did it all just in one and I did modify a little bit. I did more increases in the pattern called for because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger so that I could, yeah, really pull it down it's like, a nice shrug. like a shrug. So you could wear it like a cow or wear it like a shrug. I just essentially, instead of doing your increases once every 20 rows, I did them once every 10. Yeah, that was it. So I just did some extra, some extra sets really of increases. Pretty. So it's really, really nice. It's really pretty. It's a nice transition piece because you can wear it up like a cowl or you can pull it down over your shoulders. If mm -hmm. you're somewhere cold, it's nice to have for this time of year. You can mm -hmm. scrunch it up real small and shove it in a bag. So, but yeah, this is just, I mean, it's round and round in circles on giant needles very cathartic when <laughs> like when, when you need stress when you're stress knitting or when you need like just oh, a, a palette cleanser project or if you're looking to make a gift for somebody mm -hmm. this would be a really really nice gift 
um, one skein of fingering where, like I said, I didn't, you, you I could have just used a, a 400 yard skein of fingering weight yarn if I wanted to. I have plenty of, of the Hella Hank left. Mm -hmm. um, and then two balls of the Sensei. It really, it's about a ball and a half is what I ended up using. I had a little bit of mm -hmm. leftovers. We'll link the pattern below. It's very, we will. We will. It's, a yep. very, it's um, very straightforward. Yeah. So again, but if you've got minis, you know, or leftovers from other projects, you can make it in as many or as few colors as you want. Right. So yeah. What about you? Well, this is the rad plaid cowl. It has, um, it's become kind of a shop favorite, wouldn't you say? Because yes, a lot we've of had a lot, a lot of people, people make. Who've mm -hmm. made it. it is one of those that is an infinity cowl. It is twisted. Um, it, so it's a Mobius. It, okay, Mobius. That's yeah, you'll see it. Called. There you go. Okay. That's what it's technically called. It's a Mobius. It's a Mobius. Mm -hmm. And it's by Andrea Mowry. We'll link it below. The rad plaid cowl. It's going to take a spin cycle. Dyed in the Dyed wool, in the, the sport wool. weight. It's going to take a mohair or an alpaca silk. You could do either one. And, and a, we did Lana Slight, which yes, was and a fingering weight. or sport solid. So like mm -hmm. a solid fingering or sport uh, dyed in the wool and some mohair or um, surrey. So it is knit as a tube. So in the round, which is nice. And then um, kitchenered mm -hmm. at the end. But just a really, I mean, it's keeping my neck really warm, right? Well, now. yes, it really warm. Although you could, if you didn't, if you're not a mohair person, if you're looking at these two mohair oh, or Surrey projects and go. you're like, I can't stand to have anything fuzzy on my neck, you could do this with the dye in the wool and two contrasting oh, fingering yeah. weight yarns. You don't so, have to use yeah. uh, a fuzzy yarn if you don't want to. Yeah. No, but it is very, it, you know, mm -hmm. it's just a, it's a great, ex I love yes. these as accessory yes. pieces that you just wear, mm -hmm. you know, you can wear it all day. I yes. mean, it's not something you just need to put on for warmth. Well, you, you don't have outside. to fuss with it too. Yeah, That's the nice thing just, about cowls, mm -hmm. you know, you put it on and you're done. Yeah. So we have, um, I believe you did, if you want to go back and look at our Instagram feed, um, actually Aaron did a, didn't you do a, a um, roundup? A yeah. Roundup of our, during our August whip down challenge, we had several people who did this, who so. did this. And so, yeah, lots of different color combination ideas. If you scroll back yeah. in our Instagram, Facebook so feeds. it was, it's been, it's been a popular mm -hmm. one. Our Tuesday group took it on for mm -hmm. um, just a, like to, a make along, like a make along mm -hmm. for their group. And so, yeah. and it is, it's very nice. I think the main, I have one started. I should finish it. Sometime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should finish it sometime. We should finish it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, very nice. I, yeah. I, I've liked it. Now I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off because it's warm. <laughs> it is very warm. Because it's it, freaking 80 degrees the day before Halloween. I understand. But tomorrow it's going to be 42. I know. We're going to be, I know. And it might rain at trick or treat time. I'm so, so thankful so. that my child's we're I, past the trick-or-treating well, phase because they're all going to get sick. My daughter and son-in-law walk with the kiddos. Yeah. But as they get tired, they bring them back and the grandmas are sitting there with the candy yeah, and we're handing right. out the candy. And then we've got the kids that yep. are tired. <laughs> it's everybody's going to be sick. Yeah, oh, my so goodness gracious. I'll be out doing that tomorrow. But yeah, you're a trooper. That's <laughs> what you do. It's just what you do. All so right. what else have you what have you finished? Because so, that's a shop sample. What have you? Yeah. So as you know. I had to frog my Dublin Memories socks. Um, yes. I frogged them last time. I had gotten all the way to the foot on them and ended up having to frog them because once I started, it's a color work sock. And once I started the color work here, I let it go here before I tried it on. And I had gotten this far in both of them before I tried it on and realized that it was not going over my foot. So the leg was not going to go leg. over. So I ended up having to frog the whole entire thing back. It was a lesson learned in how to do color work socks. Um, you know, when you're when you're having to do it. And I, I want to do more because I liked the process. But um, floats are an issue because it does yes. take that elasticity out of the sock mm -hmm. leg. Um and for me, that's an issue. That was a problem. I couldn't get it on. So I frogged them and started it on a two instead up, of a up one. And, yeah, I up went in to, size. Mm -hmm. But I'm back down to a one here because that's usually what I do for your foot. The foot. Mm -hmm. What 
And I also learned don't catch your floats no. because if you catch your floats, you tighten it even mm -hmm. more and it causes an issue. What I will do differently next time is they're still snug. They're still very tight. You've got yeah, this one here. I've got that one finished. And it's as you can see. It's so pretty yeah, though, isn't Debbie. It pretty? This was my, for those of you who don't know, I went to Ireland and this was my souvenir um, yarn purchase. Um, it's Irish yarn. Um, this was, this is Knit's um, house yarn with the green. It was, um, this is Knit is, is, is a, a yarn store in Dublin. In Dublin. Mm -hmm. This was their hand dye yarn here. And then this was just an Irish um, basic mm -hmm. everyday workhorse sock yarn. Mm -hmm. What this didn't have in it was 25% nylon, which I am used to, used to have in yeah. around 20, 25% had a little less. And so it's not as elastic as some of, but that's fine. Well, and a lot of it has to do with the, the way it's spun too. This is a right. multiply, very, very tight, which means it's going to wear like iron. Yeah, it will. But that means it doesn't have as much give as now, a more loosely spun yeah. yarn would. Now, what I talked to Erin about is if I do a color work sock, I usually cast on 64 stitches. I'm going to do 72. And most sock patterns, color work sock patterns, a lot, well, somebody who designs a lot of color work socks, mm -hmm. let me put it this way, because there are some designers out there like Stone Knits does tons of color work socks. And she will, for like a nine inch circumference foot, which is usually a 64 stitch mm -hmm. count sock, for a lot of times she'll have you cast on like 70 stitches or so, you know, for the, the color work leg. She has you cast on and more. And then you go back down. And then you go back. And, okay. and that's a very common methodology that, yeah, exactly. You're going to cast on so that you have more. So to recap, mm -hmm. this is top down. Mm -hmm. This is a basic vanilla sock on nine inch circular needles. This is written by um, Kay Litton, who um, is the crazy sock lady. Mm -hmm. um, she does really good basic patterns. So this is my go-to pattern. Mm -hmm. So it is top down. So what Erin's saying is cast on more beginning top down. And right. then when you get after the heel turn, mm -hmm. you will just decrease. You're going to decrease more. What's to, going to happen is you're going to work a few more yeah. decreases. Your guess it's going to be a little bit bigger. And that makes sense. To go back down to a 64 stitch count foot. Mm -hmm. But if you do stitch work mm -hmm. here, all the research I've done on it has told, has now said, do not catch your floats because what you do is create a tighter fabric if you catch mm -hmm. your floats. So I didn't catch your float, catch my floats in this. And I did go up a needle size for this part. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you add, if I went and cast on for 70 stitches, if I would need to do that. I'd probably still do that. I because, would, especially if you don't have a whole lot of, sock, yeah. of color work sock experience. As you get, as you do more and more, I mean, your floats are pretty good. They're, they're yeah. not super tight. But as you do more and more, you just, you learn the tricks. Because I think you it know. would be, I think it's so cool. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I said, I've done... I mean, just vanilla socks. Right. And that is what this is. Mm -hmm. It's just a vanilla sock. You sock, just inserted this color work chart into it. Right. But you don't have this. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't have this. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, it's always so, going to be denser. And you can see it's just, it's mm -hmm. not, it's not very elastic. It doesn't have much elasticity. Yep. But it's good. Yeah. It's, it's better. So, you can get it over your heel, I'm assuming. <laughs> and yeah. that's really what's important, right? Right. So lesson learned with this. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've enjoyed it. I just have a few more. I just, you can see I'm almost done. Um, so this will be now the fourth sock I've done with this pattern because yeah. I flogged them. I got all the way this. <laughs> and now this is number three and number four That's okay. because I'm doing it for the second. It happens. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. So what do you, oh, show your ears. Should we talk oh, about the, the elephant in the room the that's been hanging around yeah, behind us? So if you watch the last podcast, this is the insane cardigan that I chose to uh, do for the Eras Tour movie. This, this is the back. So this, I used um, the Building Blocks Cardi pattern by Amy Share, which is a fabulous pattern. It's a really, really great kind of basic core cardigan pattern. And she's written all kinds of different options and modifications into the pattern. Really, really good pattern. But what I did was I added 
all the various iconography um, based on the different Taylor Swift albums. So there's lots of different techniques. The, the New York City skyline that's here on the bottom is done with stranded color work. Most of the icons are intarsia. This is the reason why nobody does intarsia, but I got it done. And then on the front, we can turn, turn it, turn oh, this mannequin here. So the red scarf up front here, this is actually an applique. I made a piece, this piece, and then sewed it on. And then some of the other things are embroidered on after the fact. Mm -hmm. So these leaves and these stars, the books in front of me, I'll pull it okay. out here in a second, are all embroidered on after the fact. So this was a lot of fun to make. It was six weeks of madness. I ran it right down to the wire um, before the movie. It is supposed to have a button band. I ran out of time. So I just whacked an I-cord edge on it so that it looked halfway decent. I will probably pull that. I will probably pull that I-cord yeah. edge out though and than because actually it has do. to be a cardigan. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> it's an open cardigan oh, right now. Cardigan. It is, yeah. it is oh, a cardigan. I know, I, know. I know. But I, yeah, I will probably go back and put a button band on it now that it's all said and done and That's I have a awesome. little bit more time. Yeah. Oh, it's so amazing. But yeah, it was oh, so much I, fun. I think you should talk about Yes. This and then the one sleeve, the snake wraps around the sleeve. Um, He's in charge. So I picked this pattern because it's all done flat. Um, your, you do the back piece and the two, um, mm -hmm front pieces, and then it is uh, mattress stitched and three needle bind off at the shoulder. And the sleeves are actually done flat too. You pick them up at the top of the armhole, work them flat down, and then mattress stitch them up um, the so bottom. You do this whole mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, and then you mattress stitch it up the bottom. So I did that because I needed the flat um, for doing intarsia. <clears throat> Excuse me, you can do intarsia in the round, but it's, it's more grief than it's worth, um, in my opinion. <laughs> So um, I did pick it. I picked the cardigan for that reason. It also means that your gauge stays the same on everything. You may have experienced that before where maybe you knit like the body of a cardigan flat and then you pick up the sleeves and knit them in the round and your sleeves are tighter than the rest of your sweater. It's not unusual for have that to have that happen. Um, so I did it that way so that I could do the elements. But yeah, it's a great, like I said, it's a great pattern, Amy's written a wonderful pattern and she's got all kinds of if you want to add bus yeah. starts if you want to put shaping in if you want to she walks you through all kinds of fabulous fabulous options but i did this embroidery. so i have never embroidered a thing in my life ever um but i did all this fun embroidery on this sweater with the help of this book that i made debbie order <laughs> when it was first coming out and uh, we sold out our first uh, order of this mm -hmm. and the whole first printing of this book uh, sold out completely. We have gotten a few more copies back in. This is Embroidery on Knits by Judith Gumlich. And this book is amazing. It really does walk you through all of the process, all of the tools you need, techniques, what to go out and buy. Um, it really assumes you've never done any embroidery before in your entire life, but you want to add all these amazing, all of these amazing touches onto your plain sweaters. And so as always, you know, beautifully the photographed. beautifully photographed and she's got lots of, I'm trying to find a picture here for you. She's got lots of um, patterns in the back, like uh, motifs um, that you can put, look at these mittens. So just different ways to add a lot of fun personality to more basic knits, mm -hmm. which now I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's all I want to do. I want to like <laughs> sew on stuff. And I'm so getting ready to do it for the first time. on stuff. It yeah. is so much fun. It's very, very addictive. 15. Beware. Beware. Yeah. So, but yep. So that was my nutcase. Your nut. <laughs> but it's good. It's all done now. So what are you working on? Well, you saw my second Dublin sock, yes. which I need to finish. Yes. This is the other thing I'm working on. This is the Super Simple Summer Sweater by Hohi Locatelli. Say that five times fast. Yeah, Super Simple Summer Sweater. But um, it's out in the wild a lot. Oh, you I see saw, this all over yeah, the place. I saw it quite a bit at, um, at Rhinebeck. At Rhinebeck. Mm -hmm. and it's one of those great patterns because it's very adaptable. She wrote the yeah. original one with like summer 
uh, like linen blend, mm -hmm. I think yarn, but you can use anything for you this. Could. And so I've oh, almost look how got nice. the body done. I think, yeah, I'm almost I'm that. almost done with the body. And I've got one more. I just I've got this will be my end here um, where I will finish this stripe and then go right into the. Mm -hmm. I know. There's, a couple, up, million, there's right, a couple of million. There's a couple of million hairs. Hair. That's all right. This will be finished soon because yeah. it's on a bigger needle. It's on a. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm we'll using nice loop yarn. Is. And loop yarn is one of those great, um, it's one of those great uh, fiber show, you know, it, just festival purchases. Mm -hmm. You can see that it's a marled yarn. Yep. And they, she does these things called yin yang. Uh -huh. So like this one is two plies of the orange and one ply of the black. And then she had the inverse two plies of black, one ply of orange. So they, yeah. you can do these really fun color block mm -hmm. or stripey patterns with them. Yep. These are not my colors. This is a perfect example of how I went to Vogue last year, saw this color mm -hmm. on the mannequin and oh, said- Oh, but it's gonna look so nice, yeah, Debbie, said, with jeans. Mm -hmm, it's yeah. gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna really enjoy wearing it, but- um, It is, it's not a blue sweater. I, I, no, you should see my acquisitions from this Rhinebeck, all grays. I was showing my friend the <laughs> other day and she was like, there's a theme here and it's all black and gray. And I said, <laughs> and what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with having a palette. We talk about that all the time. I know. So that's on the needles. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, the day before Rhinebeck, I want to say it was the day before I left. I happened to this designer I follow and I think it's Kadri. I think it's the way you pronounce it. I, that sounds about right. Yeah. Anyway, she came out with this. Yes. If that looks a lot like um, just a, you know, a different take on um, the Sophie scarf, Sophie and scarf. Mm -hmm. it kind of is, but I had already done a Sophie scarf and I was thinking about doing another one with, um, with some heavier weight yarn with a DK weight mm -hmm. yarn and making it a little bigger. And then this came out. Yeah. Just a little different concept. Still a tip to tip, which mm -hmm. that is my favorite shawl yeah. construction because you never have 5 million stitches on the needles. Look at the stash, stitch oh, definition. Oh my goodness. So just these fun little mm -hmm. ridges. All it is, mm -hmm. is this repeat. You're mm -hmm. doing it over and over. Here's what I have. Because of course I bought it at Ronbeck. This is barefoot. Um... DK and I had it here, but I don't now. That's okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't have it out, but that's all right. Um, this is Barefoot Dreams DK. It is by one of my favorite, favorite people, and this is Bare Naked Wool. By and, Anne Hansen. Yeah, Anne Hansen. And this, um, so this is the I love her yarn. Oh, I Feel that. Yarn. Oh, I love it. It is incredible. I also have something oh, on the here needles. It is. I have something on the needles out of this, made out yeah. of this yarn. It might have, if I finish that. I should finish that sometime yeah. too. So here it is, the bare naked. Yeah. I feel that. Oh, I oh know. It's God. wonderful, amazing, undyed. Yeah. Her yarns which are all that, undyed. Undyed, which is what mm -hmm. I love about them. So, so are you increasing on both sides or just one side? You're just increasing. Oh, just on the one on the side. One. Okay. And, and then. Mm -hmm. And I am going to go. And she gives you. You can do this in any um, weight of yarn. She gives you that, uh, that if you're doing another weight of yarn, just go until you, I have two balls, basically. Right. Basically. So I'm going to do it till I run out. Mm -hmm. Increase, increase, increase till I run out. And then, and then I'm going to decrease, decrease with the other, other one. one. Go the okay. other way. So you start with a couple of stitches and you end with a couple of stitches. Yep. And just when you get just about the point where you want to put your eyes out, you start decreasing and the rows right. go faster. Right. I know. Right? That's great. It is I great. love this kind of shock construction. I know. So it will, like I said, it will look like this. This is nice done. Nice big scarf. Mm -hmm, this is done in worsted weight though, mm -hmm. which is for Virginia. It's just, I wanted to wear it a lot in the winter as an accessory piece. That was my goal. So if I were to have done it in worsted weight. For Virginia. It's for just, you especially. Yeah. 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 Because yeah, I flash a lot. But I do. Hey, you know, you, you, know, you, you gotta just know. do. You Women gotta, of a certain know. age just do. You just, yeah. So um, anyway, yes. So mine is going to be probably a little bit. It know, probably won't be a huge. Short. There's not that big of a difference between a DK and a worsted. This is a kind of a, 
a fluff, you know what I mean? It's a woolen spun yarn. It's a little fluffier than your average DK. It's probably not going to be, you don't go down just one needle size. This is a five. Okay. What's the pattern written for? Um, it was written for worsted. So, so it just said do the needle according to, to the, yeah. the gauge. So it might be slightly smaller, but not tremendously. I decided tremendously. not to do a four. I just yeah. did a five. I thought, yeah. But I am in love with just the fabric. The fabric that it's creating. Mm -hmm. I just love it. It's going to be great. Yeah. So that's, I bought this at Rhinebeck and, and you've already cast something on. I'm impressed. Sounds like somebody else I know who goes to a festival, takes her winder and casts it. Ah, on sure. Why not? You know, whips, what whips? We don't know what about whips. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, 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 no. So anyway, the, yeah. So those are my works in progress. Basically, I'm trying to get the second Dublin sock finished, get this done. And before I cast on anything else, that mm -hmm. was my goal was just to, uh, and the sweater mm -hmm. and just to get those three things done. And then I have some things I want to cast on, but because of my acquisitions, given me motivation to Good. get them done so yeah. yeah so we'll see awesome yeah all right the rest first boyland so i am back to sock knitting oh so i am doing from the 52 weeks of socks book i'm just gonna okay this to go over the chart yep I am making these socks. These are called the Boyland Socks by Caitlin Hunter. This is from 52 Weeks of Socks, Volume 1. Um, but these are available as an individual pattern now because this book came out a couple years ago. So this is what I'm doing. And they are some fun color work socks. A little bit of bobbles on the leg, too, which is really fun. Oh, are you going to do the bobbles? Yes, I've already started the bobbles. So I am using Farmer's Daughter. I have been a part of their... Uh, sock club this year. I have, this is only going to be a pair four out of the 12, but that's okay. Um, so this is August's colorway. Actually, I picked it because it was kind of this like color with these little bit of like green and brown and rusty speckles. I thought was a little bit fall like. So I love it with the brown. And then and I green. went and stole some minis from other months. <laughs> Either of these were the minis to go with this month. And so this is what I've started. So I do my socks to avoid second sock syndrome. I do them two at a time, but the way I do them is I do the cuff of one and then the cuff of the other and then the leg of one and the leg of the other and then the heel and the heel. And I go back and forth like that. So this is what I have so far. I'm getting ready to go out of town this weekend. So I wanted to get a good travel project, but can you see the little bitty bobbles? I don't know if you can see, like there's a little between my nails there, little bitty bobbles, which I thought were so cute, but yeah. So I thought these will be a nice, but you see, give yeah. that a stretch. See, yours, yeah. And a lot of it has to do with, yes, this one, this has got a higher, this has got like a 20%. I think it's an 80, 20. Um, so it's higher nylon content. There's also shorter floats. This is nothing to look at when you look at sock, because this is only 64 stitches. You did 64. I did 64. Wait, um, on a size? On a size one, one, which for me is going up a size, because normally I knit my you're socks tight. on zeros, because I'm, no, I'm loose. I'm a very loose knitter. Oh, you're a loose knitter. So I have to okay. go down. Yes, that's right. So in I middle size a lot of times um, to get gauge. So for me, going a one is a size up. Um, but these are very, there's only three stitch floats. That's the max number of floats. So that's the other thing too. If you're kind of new to color work sock knitting, pick a pattern that doesn't have longer floats. Yeah. And then just making sure that you keep in mind I also knit my color work really, really lazy. Um I knit with one color, drop it, pick the other color up, drop it. Do but know, in doing that, I can it's easy for me to keep my floats exactly. really, really loose because I'm not trying to tension both yarns at once. I started doing that. That was something mm -hmm. else I started to do because that is not the way that I do color yeah. work. I carry I have one yarn in the left and, and one, one yarn mm -hmm. the contrast yarn in the left just so that I can be consistent yeah. in keeping mm -hmm. that um coordinating color under yep. uh -huh. the um the main color. And I I didn't do that. I started dropping it mm -hmm. and doing it like you said. The lazy when way when you're in a situation where you really need to make sure you keep your floats, floats loose, loose, I yeah. think it's easier for me anyway to keep my floats really nice. And that's and a loose. good point. Because I'm gonna do yeah. that. Because I started so, doing that. Yeah. I thought maybe that'll help. 
Mm -hmm. Because I was getting very frustrated. Well, I know. I know. Especially when you have to rip out. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what I've started. So these are fun. I'm see how far I can get in these with my trip over the long weekend. But yeah, I'm enjoying enjoying that. So I'm I'm somewhat back on the bandwagon. Remember I had this grand plan that I was gonna knit like one pair one of pair socks a month, a month with yeah. that month's yarn. I got through March. I got through March. For me, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> For mm. me, that's pretty good. But yep, so that's that's what I'm working on. And I have two finished objects this podcast. I'm so excited for you. That's awesome. <laughs> that is great. All right. So go ahead. What are you so, thinking about? Well, or do you want to talk about your Rhinebeck hauls? Oh, my Rhinebeck What do you want to talk about? I, you have seen hauls that I have brought I home. have. I No, yes. Yes. This is this not. This is not. This is very modest. This is very this modest. This is very modest. So one of the things that I did at Rhinebeck is I took a class from With going the known. Going Known people. Aww. And I mean, we're starting to do um, felting now, needle, needle felting. felting. And so I learned. Look at the butt. He crack. has a butt. You have a butt on your little gnome. Look at so how here cute he is. he is. This is what I did in my workshop. So I'm excited. I learned how to do it. I learned well, the you technique. Have to turn him around and show him the, his backside. Well, it's actually the the slit in his little um, legs, mm -hmm. but it looks like a butt crack. He's cute. I know. I know. That's why this podcast is. Because <laughs> um, I'm talking about gnome butt, pe butt cracks. But um, yes, there he is. I so I should have shushed his beard a little bit more, but I can go back and do that later. Oh, yeah. Um, but so yeah, so fun. I have so my mat now and I have mm -hmm. my needle felting yeah. stuff. So I'm all ready to do that. I broke, I was the, the person who broke the most needles. <laughs> During the class, so I guess that tells you I was really taking out my anxiety. Clearly. So, um, yeah, so I did oh, that fun. and made that little guy. And if you would like to learn how to needle felt, we have tons of learn how to yeah. kits in there available awesome. in the shop. You got that. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here is Wollins my, I went to this one. This, the Willens and Nosh people were at um, Indian Tangled. Indian Tangled. Yes. And I have grown to love their self-striping yarn. And when I saw this for, it just reminded me of vintage Christmas. And mm -hmm. so I wanted to go ahead and get that. Mm -hmm. This one is um, Targi yeah, mm -hmm. with 10% nylon. And so I'll just do my vanilla sock. And you'll find that even with um, the lower nylon content, mm -hmm. because that Targi wool has a lot of good bounce to it. The other thing that I got to rhyme back and it is going to go on my needles is what is called the friend to friend cowl. I mean, shrug. It is by Leslie friend. There it is right there. I am doing it in this farm yarn for lack oh, of a better yeah. word. Bay Haven. Oh, Bay Haven short tails. And you can see they're yeah, lovely people. They really are. And so I bought the skeins to do it because it calls for a bulky weight yarn. Mm -hmm. But I wanted it, this was, it's dark gray. It looks kind of brown, it's, but it's yeah. actually a gray. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to embroider over it. And I had, um, there were some in on, uh, there were some on the project pages that had, and I'll show you, because this is really cool. Um, See if I can get them up. Yeah. So who they've embroidered, and this is I'm going to do mm -hmm. a little bit more than that. But you can see with the mm -hmm. plain color how they've taken the shrug and they've done some embroidery over it. So that's what I'm going to do. I am. Yeah. This, this is the hot trend. Yeah. For the fall and the winter, you guys. So don't I'm, don't miss out on this book. Yeah, I am looking <laughs> forward to that. So this is just nothing more than, for lack of a better term, vanilla. Mm -hmm. Um wrap or right. shrug mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to take it and embellish it oh yeah so I'm going to do that I'm looking forward to doing that and um then I bought another little needle felt guy I'm going to try him this little gnome and he cute Santa from Claus going gnome. yeah he's a Santa gnome so I'm going to do that and then my last acquisition that I'm going to I'm not going to um Pass this on until, but you know how I love Harrisville. Yes. I, I make a beeline for their booth every year. 
I don't know if you can see the cabling. This oh, is yeah. called Flynn. Very pretty. If I had just seen this pattern, not that it isn't beautiful because it is, but this wouldn't have made me do it. They had a sample. They had a sample. And it was actually done in this color. This is their nightshades, Harrisville nightshades. Oh, radio. Is that the uh -huh. pink? It is um, purple. Talk radio. It's like a like a fuchsia. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with the nightshades, and then daylights is the other um, side of that I'm coin to, from Harrisville. Yeah. So what they do is they take natural colored American cormo wool. Um, this is black. And then they add a very, very pigment, yeah, light color. pigment to it so that it mm -hmm. shows up ever so slightly. And then Daylights is the flip side of that. It's the undyed white with, again, very, very pale pigments. It's a really, really cool yarn, which we would love yeah. to carry for you, but they don't do wholesale. It's a very small mill. They, yes, it's a very um, small mill. But they do still. a great job. And but if you get a chance to see them in person. I, I do. I literally know where they are and I make mm -hmm. a beeline because always I, um, yeah. And I've got some other. Did they come to Maryland? Yes, they did. They come to Maryland. So yeah, yeah, they yeah. do. No. So that's going on the needles mm -hmm. as soon as this sweater that I have on mm -hmm. the needles now is going, mm -hmm. is, is done. And then um, I'm getting two advents. Two you, sock advents. Good for you getting two this year. Which two are you getting? I'm getting the... Um, uh, the one I got last year, which not the crazy sock lady. Why do I, the cozy, 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 cozy knitter. knitter. Mm -hmm. I'm getting hers, um, which is a self stripe and I'm getting woolens and nosh. Mm -hmm. So I'll have, um, two, those, socks, mm -hmm. two Christmas mm -hmm. socks. Yeah. Looking forward to that. So I yeah. want to get these socks Done finished before. Mm -hmm. So I can, uh, do those. Yeah. So yeah. That'd be good. And then that's, yeah. Oh, and then the other thing that I am doing is this for Christmas gifts this year, and I'm getting ready to put those on. This was also a pattern that came out just before Rhinebeck called the Puppalope. It is done with Rasta. Mm -hmm. Aren't they cute? They're just Super bed socks cute. So yeah. bed slippers. And um, so I'm going to make these for my daughter. Cool. Yeah. I just thought they were cute. They are they very, have, very yeah. cute. So I'm going to get some yarn and pass those mm -hmm. on. So that's something else going on the needles. Awesome. So lots of plans. <laughs> we'll see how they come to fruition. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. So what else do you have? Anything else? I don't have anything else. We do have some store stuff. We, we do. We do. Do we have to be no. pull? Not yet. Oh, okay. We talked about the, um, oh, that's right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I was right. The new color of the month for Emma's, we can't show you yet because it's not November 1st, but that will go up um, November 1st. We have Angie from Daisy said is coming tomorrow. As we said, <laughs> if you pre-ordered a birthday bag, it's coming tomorrow. You can pick it up this week or if you did it for shipping, we will ship those out. But she is also bringing other bags. And if you've replenishment tomorrow. replenishment because we have been looking we've got people come in lately going hush you don't have a whole lot here yet we know oh, more coming it i tell you when we had um marie green here yes. we had a lot of out of town uh, people yes. who discovered angie for the first time and those of us who you know ooh and all over her bags every time they come in we see them coming in on a regular basis this time we had people looking at them for the first time. It's like, oh, I want a bag. And so they yes. were a lot of them walked out the door and found new homes. With multiple but we, bags. <laughs> but we have new ones coming on Tuesday. Those are not mm -hmm. something we can list on the website because they're a consignment item. But uh, we always post pictures when we restock. Mm -hmm. And if one catches your eye, call yeah. the shop or schedule a virtual shopping appointment. And guys, there's just no way. I mean, every single bag is yes, so we, unique. There would be like hundreds of individual entries and then every bag has to have multiple pictures and as much as we love you we do have a small staff here it would <laughs> be a full-time position for somebody to just send. to take pictures of these bags and get the listings yeah. but make your virtual shopping appointment we will walk you around and show you all your options this so, is so much fun so this is a brand new kit um we actually had this as a class but we had a few kits left over um, and so we've put this up. This is called the Tussie Mussie Hat by Pam Powers. It's a very simple um, stranded color work hat with the floats on the inside. So if you have not done a lot of stranded color work knitting, this would be a great project for you. But it also has the option of sewing these fun little crystals mm -hmm. onto one of the flowers. 
How cute is that? And they are included in your So kit. we have these lovely kits that have the yarn, um, a pom-pom that's in the readable wool pom-pom, not quite as big as this one. This is a sample that our teacher did. Um, that's her her pom-pom she put on it. But there is a cute pink wool pom-pom as well as the crystals. So on crystals and that uh, little card has a code for you to download the Ravelry pattern for free. So it's all included. Everything you need is in the kit to make this fun little hat. So this would be a great thing for you to make. It would be a great thing for you to make for a gift. Or if you have a knitter and you're looking to buy a gift for them, that's a great mm -hmm. kit to buy and give somebody as a gift because yep. it's literally everything but the needles is in mm -hmm. the package to make that hat. Yep. So that's a lot Tussie, of mussy. fun. Tussie Mussy <coughs> kits. Speaking of kits, we have stocking kits. Mm -hmm. So if you are looking to make Christmas stockings this year, looking to start a new tradition um, for your family, or you want to just make some fun decor, we have these lovely kits. Um, in from Pure Wool and, and Accessories Unlimited. So these, again, great kits. The exact yarn you need, right? So you're not buying extra skeins when you only need like a little bit of white, say, to make these stockings. Um, and the pattern is also included mm -hmm. in these. So that's really fun. So these are really, really fun um, stockings to make. And these are basically oversized socks. So this is also great. If you've never made a pair of socks before and you want to learn great way how to make socks, all the same skills on a bigger scale with larger needles. And then once you have all your, you know how to turn a heel, you know how to do a toe, then you can tackle smaller socks mm -hmm. on fingering weight needles. So these are so much fun. This one makes the Santa Claus, by the way. Yeah, you'll see. It'll you'll be see, checked. Yeah, yeah, it's checked. So that makes the Santa Claus. And then this one, this is such a pretty one. I know. I really love like the Scandinavian yeah. looking ones. Those are so pretty. And then we have some holiday bundles. Yes. Or they are back in stock. stock. Those were really popular last year. Remember, Blue Sky puts out only a limited amount of these every year. We have the holiday bundle as well as the winter bundle. Yep. And Blue Sky every year seems to add more and more patterns yeah. that are free that you can do with the bundles. Yep. So these What's are, so cool yeah. about them is I love them just like for hats. Mm -hmm. You get three skeins of every color, three little minis of every color that are, you know, that's in mm -hmm. the bundle. So you get a total of 21 that are in the bundle and you use them for patterns yeah. that you might have color work mm -hmm. on your hats or anything else for that matter. But these are worsted weight. They make great hats. Um, they make, look at these. Can you see these on a little garland? Mm -hmm. You know, just a little, um, you know. Or on a, a wreath or on a tree. Oh, I mean, on a wreath, yeah. Wouldn't yeah, that be absolutely. cute on a wreath? Um, so, so yeah, little, and Just then little sweaters. snowflakes. These are the two new patterns that are this year. And this one's, and they're the free, free mm -hmm. patterns, all kinds of fun. And then there's other ones too, from previous years. Yeah. So all yeah. free, um, you go on the blue sky site and mm -hmm. you can see it. This is one of our, uh, bit, um, reps from years past. She owned a yarn store, um, Whitney Harmon in, uh, in Lynchburg, wasn't it? No not Lynchburg, uh, Roanoke. And anyway, she's moved now, but this is her doodle hat. This was done with, um, you know, some of the colors that are in the bundles. You'll need a, a regular um, blue sky skein. 50 gram skein. Mm -hmm. But 150 gram skein and then just choose colors. Mm -hmm. This is called the doodle hat. Um, it was quite popular when it first came out a couple years ago, but great. And any other hat that you have, that needs worsted weight color work on it. Mm -hmm. It's just small great. amounts of yarn. So, and but as to be said, these are limited. We have our stock that's in right now, and then that's going to be it um, because they make these little five gram minis by hand. Oh, yeah. The staff does at Blue Sky, mm -hmm. so they can only make so many per year, and then the staff revolts and says no more. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, what we've got in is what we're going to have. So, if you've been looking for the holiday frost or the holiday cheer bundles. Those are on our website now. And like we said, check out all the really fun free patterns or pick your favorite 
patterns that need just a little bit of mm -hmm. worsted weight yarn for color work. And if you come in the shop, we've already run some of those free patterns. We have yes. them. All you have to do is ask us and we'll hand them over to you. Happy okay. to do so. All right. And then one last thing, a couple of these left stitch marker advent yeah, calendars, not, not very many. If you are looking for a fun um, advent countdown calendar for yourself or a friend, these are by Firefly Notes. It is really, really lovely um, exclusive packaging that they do for them. So it's uh, 25 windows to open. There's um, 20 ring markers and five progress keepers, all in like a celestial fairies kind of a theme this year. So one little door to open with a such marker each day. Yeah, and um, they're just... This is our first time carrying them, but mm -hmm. from what I'm un understanding, they're quite, um, they're very popular. popular. People, people yeah. really do. So we've got a couple of those left. Yeah. So if you want one, don't delay. And the last thing we'll show you is, uh, Yarny Mammoth, um, who dies also our Rich Hill Yarns. Um, he has done a reprise yes. of our colorway that was very popular. Like when we first opened, sold out in record time. This is for our birthday. We have limited quantities available. They are now on our website. This is Dances with Wallpaper. It was um, inspired by the wallpaper that we have, our Dragonfly wallpaper. And again, Lindwa. this is... Not Dragonfly. Oh, Dragon. Oh, what did I say? You said Dragonfly. <laughs> It's moths. We have moths we have on moths the wallpaper in the yarn the store, which is never fails to crack people up. Those are not dragonflies. Why did I say? Where did I get that from? I told you I have no brain. Afternoon coffee. I, he needs some afternoon coffee. I have coffee. no brain. Um, but yeah, this is inspired by our wallpaper. So yeah. we have a few, a few. Um, it's coming back. So after this birthday week, we'll retire it again. But. A lot of yeah. people missed out the first time, so we wanted to bring it back for our birthday. So that is by Yarny yeah. Mammoth. Okay, yeah. the last thing we want to tell you about is Tannis Grace coming. Yes, so that's our next big weekend with a national teacher and designer. Mm -hmm. Tannis Gray is coming November 18th and 19th. Um, she has two new books debuting this fall, the official Nightmare Before Christmas pattern book and then the unofficial Lord of the Rings. So we are very excited to host Tannis. Um, we have got a few tickets left for the two events that we're doing that weekend, um, but we will be closing yeah, we have sales to and pre-order, uh, we're taking mm -hmm. book pre-orders as well for signed copies of the books. So we have to close everything on November 5th, but we do have a few left. Saturday, November 18th, we're doing a brunch with Tannis. That's um, $40. It's from 10.30 a.m. to noon. You get a catered brunch and mimosas, a book talk and Q&A with Tannis. And then you get uh, VIP access to the vendor pop-up market that we're having that weekend. We have vendors coming in um, who are represented in Tannis's books. We'll be here with kits and yarn to make all the various patterns. All the samples will be mm -hmm. here from the two books as well for you to take a look at. Um, so you will be the first folks that be available. Anybody will be able to shop the vendor market starting at noon, but our special VIP people get access first. You get first dibs. Yeah. And just so you know, we were surprised that she was going to get all those samples back. She was yes. pretty certain she wasn't, yes. that Disney was going to hold on, you know. Right. But them. yep, but she's but the, we'll she all be them. here. So you'll They'll be able be to come here. see them in person, which is exciting. And then on Sunday, Tannis is going to do an introduction to double knitting workshop. That's going to be from noon to three. It is $195. That includes the three hours of instruction from Tannis. It includes the, you're going to be making the Oogie Boogie Roulette Cowl from the Nightmare Before Christmas book. So you do get a signed copy of the Nightmare Before Christmas book, as well as a yarn kit from Biscott Yarns. Five skeins, I believe, of DK weight yarn um, from them. It's the original yarn that was used for the sample in the book. And so that's all included for your um, $195 registration fee. All you got to do is show up with like needles and some stitch markers. Everything yeah. else will be here waiting for you. And if you don't like the um, some of the icons motifs, and yes. motifs that are in the cow, she said she'll have other. Yeah, other altars. So if you're like, I mean, I want to learn how to double knit. I, I'm not a nightmare before Christmas 
understand. Like, I don't know who Oogie Boogie is and some of the motifs in the cow. Like, oh, that's okay. She'll have some alternative motifs for you, hearts and things that you can do mm -hmm. um, for your cow. But it'll be a great way to, if you uh, want to always want to learn how to do double knitting, which creates this cool fully reversible fabric, but the colors are inverted on each side. Tinas is kind of the queen of double knits. A lot of her patterns are double knitting. And so she's a great person to learn the, all those tips and tricks for, for that skill. Mm -hmm. So that's on our website. Um, you can sign up, you can pre-order books, you can sign up for either Saturday or Sunday events, um, but yep. everything does close up the end of this week. So please do not delay. We don't want anybody to be sad because yeah. they missed out. I know. And then the last thing we're going to do is an in-store event. That's on November 10th. We're going to have um, just a, you know, just an evening of light snacks. And then you get to shop, fill out your wish list. Um, and then we'll keep those on hand here for anybody who's coming in and says, uh, so-and-so sent me over here. To I'm supposed to buy a <laughs> holiday gift. I know. And you have the list. And I don't know what to, I've never been in a yarn store before and I don't know what to buy. So it's we'll keep problem. those lists on hand. And um, we had a lot of happy customers last yes. year whose yes. um, loved ones came in. And well, happy just, loved ones too, because they came in and yeah. we were like, here is exactly we what they want. It. Would I you know. like us to walk you around and show you where everything is? They're like, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> so we have that going on on the 10th. And that's just kind of a fun night. You know, people bring their knitting, mm -hmm. they they come in, they shop, they write their wish lists out, they give them to us. And then we have a few snacks, we talk, we knit, we mm -hmm. crochet together, and then we, you know, we go home. And yeah. so it's just a kind of a nice night just to get together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so put that on your calendar for November 10th. Uh -huh. So, gosh, that was a that was a big one today. One yes. oh, we just we kept it at about an hour, but that's a little. We're usually bit, yeah. pretty good. We're usually pretty good. Yeah, we are. An hour is pretty <laughs> typical for us. So we're so glad you joined us. Thank you. It was good to get back in the swing of things. Mm -hmm. So we'll um, we're going to do it again, and um, yep. another month, hopefully yep. in about a, another month or so, and we'll bring you more um, that we have going on. Probably right before Black Friday. Yeah. Oh, gosh, we have to do that because we have to tell you all about Black Friday. Y'all, you don't want to miss shopping with us on a Black Friday. That is just the way to go. Yes. I mean, wow. We have perfected it over the years and we've got, yeah, you want you want to hear about our Black Friday. <laughs> so we'll do it before Black yep. Friday in November. So in a few weeks. Yeah. So again, you can find us on Instagram where Dances with Will RVA. You can find us on Facebook where Dances with Will RVA. Ravelry dances with wool, RVA. We make it easy, <laughs> folks. Yeah. And so those are the ways you can find us. We, um, yeah, so check us there. Also be sure, again, to sign up for a newsletter so you don't miss anything that's coming up in the shop or ways to access everything. We hot link everything all over that newsletter. So mm -hmm. you don't have to go out searching yeah. for anything. You just click, 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 click. So be sure to get our newsletter so that you're, you're informed about those. So yeah, so join us next time. We're happy to be here today. Enjoy the rest of the weather for the last few hours because I hear tomorrow it's supposed to be again in the 40s. So Woo! what a weather. Hey, in that's good. Yeah, 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 exactly. Fiber <laughs> people are always like, yes, please, please bring on bring the cold on, weather. Let's bring go. It on. So yeah, so take right. care and we will talk to you again soon. Be sure to click, uh, check out the links that we're going to be putting down below that um, will be about everything we talked about yep. today. So take care. Bye. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.